This light is really beautiful. We've got these flowers, sun creeping through right above. I think we're gonna be able to come up with some really great images. I went with a green look for my eyes because I knew that this was going to be our background and I was hoping it would kind of make something pop because we've got a simple white outfit and yeah, I really can't wait to see what we come up with. Coming up in this lesson, we explore a new series of environmental portraits. As much as I would love to tell you that we traveled to an exotic rainforest, these images were actually captured right in the middle of town. It just goes to show, with the right perspective, the camera can create all kinds of fantasy. This is Colorado Springs, and right about here is a little market that sells beer. Now, I love beer as much as the next person, but this location actually has a little something extra to offer when it comes to photography. And this is where our story begins. All right, friends, welcome to Premium Light Academy. We have yet another really amazing location for you. We can't wait to get started. We have this beautiful hedge with these amazing flowers cascading out just like a waterfall of blossoms. I'm really excited. Ashley, what do you think? I can't wait to test out this location. It really feels like we're in France or somewhere really glorious, but you are gonna laugh when you find out we are actually behind a, a liquor store, but with the right cameras and with the right lighting, you can really do magic with a camera. As you can tell, there's lots of crazy trucks driving by right now, so we are not in fact in a rainforest, but, but you'll be surprised at what you can accomplish when you use your imagination. So, let's get started. So the beauty of working in your local city is that you just don't have to go all that far from home. We got lucky, found a really slick location with a unique look and spent zero dollars getting there. I tend to find all of my locations when I'm outside riding my bike and this just so happened to be yet another winning spot. So word to the wise, always keep your eyes peeled for interesting places. They can help to elevate your photography to a whole new level. Action. Okay, so I have a couple of ideas for how I think that we can make this scene really work for us. Um, First and foremost, I think we're gonna try a telephoto shot. Where we come in, we're gonna place Ashley right about here. We're gonna move our camera off just in that direction so that we're kind of looking through this beautiful cascade of leaves right here. And then we're gonna use this backdrop in behind us to make it look like it's an infinite rainforest of these beautiful flowers. So that's telephoto shot number one. Number two, come around this direction and I'll show you number two. I like the idea of placing Ashley right here in the center and we'll shoot kind of a kind of a horizontal style shot with lots of panoramic flowers off in that direction and lots of panoramic flowers off in that direction right so that gives us kind of like a landscape portrait that really brings a huge amount of environment in and i have an idea i think that would look good on the website for ashley's profile picture number three we're gonna get three awesome shots out of this one tiny location number three so i'm gonna come right over here you guys bring your camera down just a little bit and look up into the sun where you're going to get this cool looking sunbeam blasting right up here somewhere. That should look like a pretty rad shot to me. I think that'll look really slick. I'm not usually one to shoot into the sun, but I think, I think we can pull off something really nice. So those are the three we're going to work on. And away we go. Now our initial set of images falls within the telephoto world. And this is where I've always been the most comfortable when it comes to portraits. We wanted to kick things off to a good start. So before we attempted to pull off the risky venture of shooting directly into the sun, we decided to play it safe and rack up a few nice images with the long lens. Now the vision for this first series is to create the illusion of an infinite field of flowers. As you saw from the tour of the location, our little flower hedge is only about 20 feet long. Therefore, in order to create our illusion of infinity, we have to zoom in close and use a shallow depth of field. So we fill the frame edge to edge with our flowers and voila! From the viewer's perspective, the foliage goes on forever. I'm also really fond of the shallow depth of field in this case because it gives our image a bit of a surreal fantasy quality. As you can see, Ashley is kind of sandwiched into the hedge. She's interacting directly with the environment and this gives us the ability to bring several unique layers into our scene. The flowers behind her are falling softly out of focus. Her hands are interacting with the leaves and we also have a lovely little cluster of flowers curling around her head and shoulders. As we move to the right, the hedge once again falls out of focus, creating yet another layer to the image. All in all, I would consider this to be a pretty good start. 
Now here we have yet another really nice image from our initial telephoto setup. I think it goes without saying that your model does not always have to be making eye contact with the camera. In this case, Ashley just kind of looks like she's off in her own little world. And we've incidentally created a beautiful little personal candid moment. I actually think this is my favorite image from the entire shoot. It's a beautiful profile shot and it really takes advantage of this unique environment. It's always nice when we nail a stellar shot right out of the gate. This image for me made the entire photo shoot worthwhile. And if you do get lucky enough to score a winning comp early on, it kind of takes the pressure off for the rest of the shoot. We can experiment and maybe even fail at some of our next images. And that doesn't really matter because we have already locked in a winner for the day. Take a picture now. Because you will literally never see me put another wide angle lens on for a photo shoot. <laughs> Two, three, trusty 24 to 70. Off we go. And now for the tricky part shooting into the sun. I'll be the first to admit there are a lot of photographers out there who can shoot into the sun with spectacular form. I, however, am no such person. This is typically where I go flying out of my wheelhouse for a colossal face plant into failure. But the location is just so good. It would be a travesty not to try. Blinding. Might need to uh, clip this to a tripod. So in quick context, giant reflector with huge golden dish off to this side, beaming over into this direction basically hitting Ashley full-fledged so that we can fill in a little bit of golden light with this sunburst in behind. That's the idea. I think we can pull it off. What do you think? Oh, I can't wait. This light is so gorgeous. Look at it. It's dancing in gold. Brilliant. And so with our trusty reflector showering our scene with golden light that King Midas himself would be proud of, we venture into the sun. Timing is of the essence. We only have a couple of minutes when the sun will be in exactly the right place to pull this off. The top of the hedge splits the sun into a starburst. That starburst has to line up precisely with Ashley's height or else the entire composition falls apart. If we miss our window, the only thing we can do is come back the next day. If we get lucky, she can catch the sunburst in her hands. And this makes for a pretty sweet bonus. Keep in mind, the sun is so powerful that you often cannot see anything through the viewfinder. This kind of comes down to one of those spray and pray moments. Unfortunately, Lady Luck is on our side. We can even throw in a little post-production creativity to help give our scene a little extra magic. All right, friends, this is it. You have made it halfway through the episode, which means it's time for our shameless self-promotion. Here at Premium Light Academy, we are all about education, and that means helping you improve your photography. How do we do that exactly? I'm glad you asked. Let's go take a look. Of course it's snowing, it's Colorado, come on. Photography channels are super fun to watch. And while they may be entertaining, they don't exactly teach you how to become a better photographer. What if there was a place where you could learn step-by-step -step instruction on how to start making better photographs today? Well, now you can with Premium Light Academy. We produce photography tutorials which take you through every step of the process. From shooting images on location to mastering post-production workflow, our tutorials will have you shooting like a pro in no time. Click the link to our website in the description below and get started today. Learn to take your photography to a whole new level. And it all starts right here at Premium Light Academy. There you go, that wasn't so bad. One last thing, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel because we have a lot of cool new stuff coming up and I don't want you to miss out. Now, back to the show. We have a new mascot, one second. Hey. Oh yeah, hey, oh yeah, hey, hey. our new friend Weezy. on location. Come here. Our new friend. Holy smokes, you never know who you're gonna meet. Oh, hi baby, oh hello. Who's the most adorable kitty in the whole world? Yeah, I knew it. Say hi. Don't let Eve Premium know. Premium light. I'll never, I'll never live it down. All right, we'll see ya. Down. See ya. Whew. All right, so just as a test, we have this gold reflector on Ashley. So this is gold reflecting on her. And this is not gold. So this is kind of soft, stark light that is literally just the shade and gold. So golden reflector, soft light. Gold reflector, soft light. 
Which does the audience like best? I guess we'll never know. Soft light. With our sunburst test finally concluded, we move into the final phase of our production. It's time to get a nice panoramic image which brings all of this beautiful flower hedge into the composition. Now, the landscape photographer in me loves to create panoramic environmental portraits. By now, the sun has rolled beyond the sunbeam sweet spot. The starbursts are no longer cutting through our scene, and this enables us to play it safe and take advantage of all the leftover soft light. Ashley runs through a series of looks and the environment pretty much makes it impossible to get a bad shot. Our flowers build out beautiful wings of cascading white blossoms to the left and right, and we finish up the final images of the day. All right, friends, as always, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you had fun on our little photo adventure. Personally, I can't believe that we had such a great time with this ridiculous disc. I feel like this is super 90s, but honestly, it created this beautiful golden light. We're gonna let the audience decide what you like better, soft light in the shade or golden light from Mr. Reflector here. I don't know, what do you think, Ashley? I love the golden, but I think we're gonna leave it up to the audience on what they prefer. We definitely have different angles and different options on the lighting, and I think we nailed it. Yeah. We'll do a poll. Again, as always, thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you in the next lesson. You know. Yes, casual. Casual, yeah, look cool. Oh my God, the cat started the cat. fighting. Cat fight, cat fight. Cat started fighting. Yeah, who needs light? It's only <laughs> photography. <laughs> we don't need it. Ah, let us know when you find some good hedges. We wanna see your hedge photos. Yeah, show us your hedge photos. <laughs> I mince all of those words. What's your job? I don't have one. <laughs> Not your hedge photos, your fuck. Oh, the next time we'll see you in the next <laughs> lesson. Your hedge, I mean, your hedge if photos. If you want to. Don't. Not your <laughs> manscaping or girlscaping photos. Your hedge. <laughs> God, that was such a good take, and I screwed it up at the end. Mosquitoes. Nailed it. Mosquitoes. We can do better.